welcome to another episode of Fujoshi Commentary, your go-to place for anime and manga and yaoi facts, recommendations, and reviews, all done by yours truly. So today, as you can see, I'm all dressed up in cosplay, and if you can kind of guess what my cosplay is, I am Naraku from Inuyasha. So today, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how I personally do the makeup for Naraku from Inuyasha. He's one of my favorite characters. I even have the prop, Shikun no Tama. If you want to get something similar to this look, just keep on watching. So without further ado, let's get grooving humans. So first thing I'm doing is I'm getting Elmer's glue, just a typical Elmer's glue stick, and I'm going to apply that to my eyebrows in order to keep them in place so that when I conceal them as much as possible, I won't have too much of the hair shown. Next I'm going to use Clinique in the shade of 11 Honey to apply foundation all over my face. It's powder makeup so it won't be messy to apply onto my face. It kind of stays put and it kind of works itself as a setting powder as well as a... I'm just applying all of that around my face with as much coverage but not completely too thick because I'm going to use about two more types of powder in a few darker and lighter shades to kind of even out my face as well. apply the foundation on both my eyebrows to give it more of that coverage and I'm going to use the glue stick again just to ensure that each shade of powder foundation that I use is going to be pretty much a coverage base and sticks to my eyebrows. And I'm using the sponge to kind of just dabble it in there and make sure it stays. Using a L'Oreal Blackbuster pin, I'm drawing on some fiendish eyebrows onto my older eyebrows to sort of give it that sort of anime character sort of feel. It's pretty easy for me to draw on my eyebrows with my eyebrows on because luckily the characters I usually cosplay have black eyebrows just like mine and they're not too thick. Now I'm going to apply highlights to the typical areas that you would do under my eyes, in between my nose, and right on my nose, and a little bit right before my lips. And then I'm going to blend it out with the internet's mysterious wonder called a beauty blender. <laughs> now to blend. Using CoverGirl True Blend Powder Foundation, I'm going to set it all over my face to add an extra layer of blending powder to kind of 
overshadow the highlights and kind of give myself an pale sort of emulating glow along with the Better Stay Skin foundation that I typically use for my own makeup to sort of kind of set it in but not make me look too incredibly sickly. primer it's sort of glittery so it's going to glitter off and putting it on my eyelids to make sure that I do not wearing my eyelids during the day and it does look a little shimmery at first but when you put the eyeshadow on it's hardly even noticeable <music> Using the e.l.f. sort of felt tip pen for eyeliner, I'm creating a sort of winged eye swell on my eye to emulate Naraku's beautiful eye in the bishi form. <laughs> I'm doing my best to thicken it out and I'm also going to apply a layer on the bottom and it's going to kind of expand out. I'm going to repeat the same process on the other eye. I'm walking in light. I'm walking in light. I'm walking in light. eyeshadow palette I'm going to add a layer of light blue eyeshadow onto the top of my eyelid right above and sort of on my eyeliner to sort of emulate Naraku's single blue eyeshadow stripe <laughs> I'm going to use a sort of darker blue eyeshadow to kind of emulate and deepen the blue from the mixture and make the glitter a little less out there. Using my e.l.f. felt tip eyeliner again, I'm going back over the previous eyeliner wing to deepen and darken it and expand it out because as we know, Naraku's eyes are expanded a bit more outward with his black eyes. foundation again I'm going to apply the foundation to my lips to sort of give it that 
natural look as the same as my skin because, again, this is Naraku and I want to make it more anime. -y. Now I'm going to use an e.l.f. setting spray and spray it all around my face. <laughs> put my hair up into its wig and I'm going to wear this lovely wig that I have had for about two years and it's pretty much done its good business for me. It's nice and long. I can curl it up according to how I need it. I usually use it for Cesar or my Naraku cosplay. <laughs> I fucking hate, fucking hate all of this dark dance music. I fucking hate, fucking hate, fucking dark dance music. I fucking hate, fucking synth pop, fucking gothic glow sticks, fucking synth pop, fucking EDM, fucking dark dance music. I fucking hate, fucking hate all of this dark dance music. I fucking hate, fucking hate, fucking dark dance music. I fucking hate, fucking synth pop, fucking gothic glow sticks, fucking synth pop, fucking. And now for the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of little tutorial video on how I do Naraku from Inuyasha. I do have a few other cosplays that I do, and if you like this video, please feel free to give me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, comment on what cosplay makeup you think I should do next. I really like this look. I could change it over time, I'm not really too sure, but I do hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy cosplaying as Naraku. So with that being said, peace, love, and stay grooving humans. Bye! Send the word and the ride.